Welcome to the show! <laughs> this guy got a mistletoe belt on! Gosh, that is bad. The whole plane smells like weed. Those were the days. It's a joke, you idiot! Looked in the mirror, I'm like, <laughs> Good old innocent fun. Welcome back, everybody, to Troublemakers, the podcast where each week we bring on a guest and they tell crazy stories about their lives. I'm your host, Dylan Krasinski, coming to you from a beautiful night in Astoria, Ooh. Queens. With me, as always, is my enigmatic co-host, the man with the plan, Mr. Ray Zawadney. Wow. Thank you so much, Dylan. And uh, more importantly than thanking you, as always, I want to thank everybody that's been checking us out. Uh, Troublemakers on YouTube, Troublemakers on our shorts and reels that you can see all over social media, and our audio listeners. Of course, you can't forget about our audio listeners <sighs> that, are, uh, that are checking us out on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And I want to let them know that they can do us a huge favor, and that is leave us a rating and review out there on those apps. And uh, when you're leaving us a rating, five-star rating. Mm-hmm. Okay, nothing less than five stars. If I, <laughs> if I happen to go out there and see that there are a, there is a new rating that is anything less than five stars, I'm talking even like four point seven five, if that's possible. Mm-hmm. What I want you to do is I want you on March first to fucking go out to Pottstown, Pennsylvania, uh, to Soul Joel's. And and come and get your ass kicked by me. But first, grab a ticket and uh, and check out uh, my album recording at uh, seven p.m. and then uh, and then nine p.m. Ooh. There's two shows. But then I'm gonna be really fucking mad at you. Are you recording video also? Yeah, I think I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna videotape. Yeah, it. I'm yeah, gonna have somebody there with a recorder. But but enough about me. I don't like making things about me. We had we <sighs> have a never. Wonder, we have a wonderful, uh, hilarious guest, and more importantly than a guest, uh, a good pal, a good buddy, Adam Golly, everybody. Hey, buddies. Yeah. Hey, a bunch of troublemakers, huh? Yeah. Returning guests that haven't been on in a couple in a minute. Yeah. There's a reason. You, you, haven't, uh, uh, you haven't been on with me, baby. No, uh, I know. Co host looked different. He did. <laughs> he, he gained a lot of weight and he got that uh, He got that surgery where they make you longer at the knees. Started drinking again. Yep. Started drinking again. Less Irish attitude. Mm-hmm. Well, these are high noons. They're barely alcohol. First of all, yeah. dry January is officially done. Dry January is done. I'm celebrating. The end of dry January. Booze February has started for Ray. Yeah. Were you guys really dry? I was, was dry. He wasn't. You were. We, we talked yeah. about it a lot at nauseum, I would oh, say, I don't last know. episode. Okay. I'm going to uh, trip over it. And No, no. Not at all. But Ray was saying well, how he's going to be a better person and all these things. And then well, he well, goes, hey, let's have some drinks on mm. the pod tonight. What, what was the longest you've ever went sober since you were a little boy? Mm. Probably a month. A month? Yeah. Month's hard. Month's hard. Well, Did you get the sugar withdrawals that people get? Well, you know, one of the longest I've ever went without drinking was about 45 days, and I did it after hanging out with you one weekend. <laughs> which, 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 was that the casino <laughs> weekend? Is it that one? It, I've, told, I've talked about this story. Mohegan never, Sun. Never Mohegan Sun. Yeah, Mohegan Sun. Yeah. We, we went there. Adam was doing a competition. Mm-hmm. and Didn't win. You didn't win? No, no you won. It, hearts. You, hearts and minds. Hearts that's, and that's minds. all that matters. Yeah. You, you won like Rocky did in the yeah. first one. I got a story about mm-hmm. that one as well. <laughs> but what? <laughs> no, just about the comment. We'll circle back on that. That one was actually pretty funny. Well, well we had just <coughs> this this uh, this event that happened. I had a knee injury. Me and you had just become like, I would say friends. Like we were, we yeah. weren't like, we weren't as close as we are now. But like, I was just getting to be like close friends with him. Mm-hmm. And I humiliated myself by getting so goddamn drunk and taking pills. Hold on. I want to stop you there. Okay. okay, I want to stop hey, you there. Nothing you got, like you, stopping someone. No, 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 no. He's Let's already, he's, you know, he's, 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 he's already, he's, he's already got on a roll. I've already, <laughs> I've already heard his side. Let's see it from okay, the. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Let's let's see it from the sniper. Okay. Fuck. Get yeah. Him. Okay. So first of all, we went. It was you, me, <laughs> Paul, and Corey, right? And so the fact is, uh, it was already bad because it was. Sure. Four dudes <laughs> sharing a room. Sharing one room. <laughs> one room. Now. Ray does not sleep our, cold, our, I'll tell you that. Our buddy Corey. Have you ever mentioned Corey before no, in this we podcast? Never had, but Corey Corey's great and hilarious. Corey is amazing. Uh he's had many careers. He's the most interesting man I've ever met. He talks like he chews gravel. That's his voice. His his mom was in uh, was a tough man champion. Yeah. Was in the tough man fights. Yeah. And wow. he, he has both run a trailer park and he also sells Jordans. Sounds like an entrepreneur. Yeah. So that, okay. So when we get there first, him and our other buddy, Paul, who's also yeah. a comedian, yeah, they get the beds initially. Cause they're just like, like, 
Corey's a wild card. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're like Adam and Corey can sleep together, you know. Yeah. Just, and so they're both feeling good about about each other, right? Fuck. You already know where this is going. <laughs> yeah, I know where this is going. Ray, Ray has his knee injury, right? Yeah. All of a sudden, we go out. We're having a good time. Two of these gentlemen are very blitzed, right? Having a lot of cocktails. Ray's in another world. Me and Paul Daggs drank like 27 beers 27 to start beers. the morning. Corey was the one who was in. He was, he was good. He had like two or three yeah. Millers, which is like water, right? So Ray's in the nether world. You guys are also not that good of friends at this point. No, I don't no. know him that well. Friendly. No, I don't know him that well. But Weird he looked, car ride. But he had, he, he had the most Mohegan Sun merch I've ever seen someone wear. Oh, yeah. I got, yeah. I got cold and bought <laughs> he, a sweater. He, he got so drunk and chilly, he yeah. had to go and raid. Okay. And we couldn't find, you know, we were all ready to leave, ready to call a night. No one could find him at all. No one could find yeah. him. Yeah. And then did you tell him, but yeah. You can your just journey. tell your side of the story. Yeah. So we're there. And then all of a sudden, Paul's got his own bed. Me and Corey are sharing one. I'm pissed because I was like, night didn't go well. Or I don't know if I proceeded with that. You were upset right? about yeah, the yeah, show. Yeah, no, you advanced that. Oh, I advanced that night. Okay. Another night. Uh, so, so many so, wins and losses so, in comedy. So, it's hard to keep track. Ray comes in like Kramer, you know, just basically just like kicking the door down, just like, every, and he would just like, Ray? actually, exactly like Kramer. Yeah. And the improv. Yeah, and he was, he was like a like a raccoon, you know, just frothing, just making noises that were unintelligible, and we we're all just like, "That's not drunk right now." I don't know what that was. And then you saddled up with Paul, yeah, Paul, who has the most spectacular tattoos we've ever seen in our life. <laughs> yeah, he gives Ben Affleck's Phoenix a run for its money, you know. Just it's a great back, colorful, back and he's got a back tattoo. I, I would call it a piece. tapestry. <laughs> <laughs> I would call it a back piece. I would call it a, mur- it? a mural of Italian. Uh, and so Paul, Paul is shirtless. A mural of Italian. <laughs> <Yeah>. Just, <laughs> Fettuccine yeah, Alfredo. Yeah. It's a lot of chicken parm. And the Tappan Z bridge. And Ray, <laughs> Ray just falls down on the bed and he makes a noise that I've not heard a human <laughs> You you honestly sounded like a whale that was gonna like oh, fight another you. whale. <laughs> yeah. Oh, at least I'm a because because, whale. because I wouldn't say it was a noise. It was just a, a buffalo. No, no, no. Well, this is this is why I would say that it was a bellow. Okay. You I'll bellowed. Bellow. You bellowed. <laughs> you bellowed. It's like when sonar when they're trying to track whales. It, that's what it, that, I watch a lot of those documentaries, that's and good. that is the closest relative to the sounds that you were making that evening. And then you got handsy with Paul. <laughs> No, dude, he's left this part of the story out every time. He saw some art he liked, and he and he grabbed. Well, there's a woman. There's a woman in the artwork. Yeah, so it's not as gay as it sounds. Now, Paul was on his Italian. Oh, my def- man, no more. <laughs> Paul was on the defensive, so he was Heisman. He's like, knock it up. Now, remind you, we I was supposed to get the worst bed. Yeah, and oh, they man. they have a whole game going on right now. Well, Ray, Ray is gently stroking Paul's back. So that's not okay for two, uh, for, for friends to rub and then other pa- friends. Then Paul's being polite. Paul's being very polite. And I, w- I want to hear Paul's side sometimes. And he's just like, knock it off, dude. It's not cool. You We're going to have that ball on the Dallas not cool. side. Not cool. And and Ray's just like, ah. <laughs> well, yeah, it just got turned down by a friend. Yeah. Yeah. And it just oh, kept getting man. louder and angrier and fiercer. Mm-hmm. Raymond. Until <laughs> I think Paul pushed you off the bed. <laughs> and Corey and I had to go stop it because we're like, you, we actually all remembered you. Had it. We, Corey and I were laughing, but like we're just like, oh, shit, he's got a knee injury. <laughs> you forgot about that. Yeah, I can barely walk. Yeah, we forgot about Yeah, because you walked about a mile and a half from Mohegan mi- Sun to, to, get the hotel. to the hotel. Oh, my God. Yeah. Raymond. Yeah. And I then walked. he slapped his tail against the water. <laughs> What's oh uh, like a whale? Like what? Because you bellowed. You're I, bellowing. Um, I also. This did, is not a weight thing, by the way. This I, is the sound you made. Yeah, yeah. I, okay. I also, yeah, we did, were all there. I yeah, also, yeah. You also told me I did something else. What did you do? That else? I took a shit with the door open. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. That's just normal behavior, Dad. <laughs> I'm okay know, with that. I don't know what's wrong with. I think this is like the second week we've had. <laughs> I know, and it was like it well, was, it's already okay. It's already on me because we all shared a room. 
as, no, it, yeah. as grown adults. Yeah. Yeah. You can't, you can't, you can't put baby you can't, in the corner you can't like put baby that. Anymore. And I, cause baby's going to hit some prescripts and, and I lost a thousand dollars that I didn't yeah. have. And I remember, I remember the whole, like, I remember laying in bed, mm -hmm. faking sleeping. You and Paul were on a heater. Oh yeah. We were winning at yeah. first. Yeah. And then I stayed at the casino till like one thirty in the morning. But I remember laying in bed and you were like getting dressed to go to work. Yeah, yeah, because I was I was going to work. And the, and they and I just heard you guys talking about me. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, dude, I was like, I can't wake up right now. I can't face them. And they're just like, I don't know what the fuck's wrong. What happened to him? He was like a different person. It was like he was possessed. I don't know. Like he was weird. Like it wasn't even him. And then like like Adam's like, Paul, how well do you know this motherfucker? I don't know. Because I knew Paul first. And Paul's like, I never I never seen him like that before. He was always pretty chill. I don't know what came out of him. And then I went, dude, I, I ended up losing like twenty pounds after that. I didn't yeah. drink for forty five days. But when I got home, oh my you guys God. you guys dropped me off in my fucking sloppy ass Mohegan sun sweater that I bought from there. <laughs> and shorts. So you just look like a prep school kid. Oh, I was wearing my <laughs> <laughs> You look like you look like Angus Young oh, from ACDC. It was like cold out, <laughs> yeah. and then dude, I was just laying in bed, and 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 I was like, no, oh. it wasn't no, it was summer, it was summer. Oh, but, but you, it was but cold you, in the but it was casino. Cold in the casino. I remember being yeah, freezing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, or I was just going through some type of fucking yeah. withdrawal because it had yeah. been a couple of on hours the drive, before I had my fix. On the drive back, we just kept looking back at you to see if you were going to change again because we didn't know what what was going to come out. Oh, dude, and then oh. I like just like tried to like sleep the whole drive because I was in a lot of pain. And then I uh, from the knee, yeah, from yeah. the knee, and the, yeah, 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 and the and the drugs, and, the drugs. and I fucking looked and I saw I had sixty dollars in my bank account, <laughs> sixty dollars to my name, and you know what I did? I was like, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna spend the sixty dollars on Uber Eats, one last supper, and then I'm done and I'm changing my life. And I and I I, I did for the better. Yeah, for the church for the time yeah. being. Yeah, dude. Wow. But that's tough, you know, like, like, because like I liked hanging and, and, and you guys were cool enough to still be my fucking friend, yeah. but you know, because we're, we are in our thirties. It's not like, that's not behave. That's like a college trip to happen. <laughs> yeah. This was not, uh, this was not 15 years ago. This, this was, three years ago. this was three. We're just, we're just getting different rooms. This that's was all right uh, before uh, the pandemic. Yeah. No, it was after. It was like oh, it was like right so when things, much worse. That, that's why you asked me if I wanted to go because you were like, oh, it was "Hey, right, yeah. dude, shit's finally opening up a little bit. Do you want to come and just like we're doing that's like right. a little getaway?" It was like September. It was it's yeah, so it wasn't summer. I think it was like September or something. Like, like that. fuck yeah, I'm at the outlet buying jeans and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. outlet spending summer getaway. Well, we did dude. two nights there, right? Yeah, because the first night was fun. Yeah, the next morning, me and Paul are swimming. In second the night was dark. <laughs> second night, yeah. Second got, night got weird, it man. Got dark. I saw Dark Ray come out. Super Bowl Sunday, it was. Oh. It, we talked about it. Last I know you should have. You should have been you there. You should probably. Came, no, I, I saw. Was. I saw a second. I saw a night after. You wouldn't have. You wouldn't have. Seen I saw you at the club the next night. Yeah, and <laughs> and and you blew me off. Well, no, dude. I I came in because I like Murphy asked me to do a spot on his show. And I went there, and then you were like, hey, I got you up on late night. I was like, fuck, I feel so bad. I was like, I'm not going to be able to bomb in front of these same people again. <laughs> oh, did you, did you end up doing a set on that? I did a set on Murphy show, oh. and it did not go well. And at first, I was like, yeah, fuck it, I'll do it. And then I went up, and I was so hungover, I couldn't even like get my thoughts <laughs> together. And I was like, I got to fucking get it was this. It was drive-by Ray. It was just like, yeah, yeah, was just, yeah, yeah bye. Mm -hmm. And oh, you okay. were also back in the corner. And yeah. then I get, I get, I was doing cool cut stuff. I get uncomfortable like, uh -huh. digging through. Oh. Um, Classic. But, uh, but Super yeah. Bowl, right? So, oh, yeah. Super Bowl it was, Bowl. It was out of control. We talked about it already last okay. week, but it was. Ray was on a blackout that I've never seen before. He, 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 we played beer pong. It, it was about two and a half hours that I was asking him about the next day, and he's like, nope. I don't know that. I, I can rarely ever tell when Adam's drunk. He's pretty good at like keeping his shit together. I can't tell when you're drunk either. But the one time. That but, I could. But the one time that I remember telling how fucked up you were is I came and met you uh, last minute at Rice K Karaoke. <laughs> Which is which is which which isn't a real karaoke night, by the way. But Adam is obsessed with it. Do you want to explain? Wait, 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 wait. It's not a real karaoke night. Explain what it is. Because I have explain heard so what, much about rice cake explain karaoke. Explain what the fuck it is. It's a fusion. <laughs> it's sushi, a sushi spot. Su sushi. Now they're like they'll do American food and sushi. Good food. Good food. And it's great food. 
And all of a sudden that Friday at like 1030, they'll just be like, all right, we're shutting this down and we're doing karaoke. <laughs> and they just have, yeah, they just have, uh, you know, it was a projection screen that they bring down oh. and they just, here's like, here's two mics. And then they just upload YouTube and That's they just hilarious. project it. And then they just pour us Japanese whiskey. And then <laughs> no one else takes the mic except for us. Yeah. There, there'll be like <laughs> eight people in there. Every once in a while, somebody will come in off the street, be like, can I sing a song? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And, <sighs> and so one time I was in there mm -hmm. and, uh, and we're singing and somebody wanted to play it like a, uh, the song, the remedy. You remember the, yeah. Is it yeah. The remedy? Is it serious? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And I, uh, I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. I'll do it. I'll sing it. And I sang it. And then like a month later, we, we end up back there. I came late and Adam's already there, like brunch drunk from earlier in the day. Yeah, he's yeah. all fucked up because yeah. they ended up leaving early. And then uh, and then your girl felt really bad. She thought like I was pissed. I was like, I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. you know? I was like, I, hey, I, if, if anybody gets having to tap out early, it's me. And I get there and Adam is just so hammered. And he's like, race here, dude. Jason Mraz, he sings Jason Mraz, dude. That's his guy. Jason Mraz, you're put Jason on the Mraz remedy. Guy, put on the remedy. And I was like, Adam, I didn't. I, it's not like my. You were like, yeah, it is, dude. He's like, I'm Jason. yours. <laughs> <laughs> you're Jason Mraz. I'm guy. like, you are Jason Mraz. I don't I mean, know why. I just remembered you singing. I was like, it must have, like, it captured something in my heart. I'm just like, he, well, that's good. I'm like, this dude's a Mraz guy. <laughs> Mraz. I was like, uh, where's his fedora? I was like, did, I was uh, like, we, I was like, serve this guy a platter of Mraz. <laughs> a, pl a platter of Mraz. Right it's but no, otherwise, hummus, otherwise it's, it's like 12 people or that one person who goes up there and sings like opera and then just kills the vibe. It's actually yeah. pretty fun. It's great. We did that. We did that live band karaoke in Astoria. On Houndstooth? Uh, yes. Yeah, that's yeah. closer to you. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. super fun. We played a game. Dude, we got into betting. We were betting dollars if the person was going to be good or not. It's harder than you think. We were betting. It's, it was five dollar bills. Way more exciting, dude. Some Susan Boyles up there. It was yeah. great, dude. Susan, <laughs> Susan B's. It dude, was so good. Susan, that was <laughs> Susan B. Boyle. That was the funniest <laughs> fucking thing about Susan Boyle is that like they were shocked that she was able to sing. Like someone that ugly can't have that voice. <laughs> yeah, crazy. I, I was, I was like, on television. Look at her hair. I was like, she wasn't missing a fucking tongue. Yeah, they're laughing at her. They're like, look at this ugly. Yeah ugly bitch and then they were like oh my god she's I got the voice the of yeah. an angel <laughs> yeah i wonder what she's doing well it, she probably she lost the weight no yeah. ozempic you think so yeah probably yeah, she was she was she was but like but that's what i was saying like I dream like dream. that's so fucked up like that is that is like that is like hollywood at its core mm -hmm. they're mm -hmm. like wait she could sing really well. Yeah, but she's ugly. How the fuck does that work? <laughs> she's been able to sing that way for 60 no. years. Her voice is beautiful, yet I don't want to fuck her. Her, par <laughs> her parents are ugly, so clearly her voice is ugly. Oh, mod. Yeah, they, they, they. Uh. Her, or her vocal cords this beautiful in her face. It's grotesque. Look at her sweatshirt. Dude, they were like, can't they were like crying because they were shocked. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they had like stains. Can, she's poor. <laughs> she's... Can the Mayo Clinic study? <laughs> yeah, like, 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 no, like, like <laughs> all right, lady, what are you gonna sing? Nobody's surprised that like Ray Charles could sing. No, he's fucking blind. Nobody's like, oh shit, I didn't know he could sing before he started. So you, you it is pretty impressive. Right Did you ever see the, uh, you ever see the video of Ray Charles trying to uh, shake somebody's hand? It might, it might be Biden. I don't remember who it is, but it's Ray Charles trying to shake somebody's hand, and they just like take the thing. And is it Ray they, Charles or Stevie Wonder? Are you mixing them up, you fucking racist? Oh, I might be, dude. I mean, listen, they're yeah. both blind piano yeah, players. Yeah, but Ray Charles is dead as fuck. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking of Stevie Wonder. You're thinking of Stevie Wonder. Yeah, you know, different. Well, in fairness, Biden We know who know is either. not blind. <laughs> Biden didn't Dylan, know when either. he sees color. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Don't be rude. Don't be rude. <laughs> Come on, dude. Uh, no, yeah, Stevie Wonder, he's trying to shake the hand. Oh, yeah, no, Ray was Jamie Foxx in uh, the movie. No, Ray was Ray. Charles. Yeah, yeah. Jamie Foxx played him. Jamie Foxx played play him. And they're all different people. They're all different people. Not, But he, not, dude, Stevie Wonder. Well, yeah, yeah, some, I do remember you saying they all he, look the same. Come on, dude. Hey, hey, Ray, you want to play this game, dude? <laughs> you want to play this game? Um, you want me to get into some stories? Uh, Stevie Wonder takes the microphone. Uh, he gives the microphone 
and he's like clapping and then he goes to shake the hand and the guy is just already speaking. I think it's Biden. He's already speaking at the podium and Stevie Wonder's standing like six feet away from him holding his hand out. Someone has to like come over and be like, okay, just, we'll go over here. Well, there's a cons- so fuck. There was a conspiracy that Stevie Wonder's not actually blind. Mm-hmm. I, I, I mm. well, and, and, and being blind is a spectrum. It's like heterosexuality. <laughs> And don't, it's, don't, uh, <laughs> don't, you, don't, don't put your arm Look, you, on me you, you, when you, you said you that. You two judging me just because I tried laying with an Italian man. Don't a couple put of your times. arm on me when you talk about homosexuality being a I spectrum. Heterosexuality is a spectrum. Mm-hmm. Actually, sexuality in general sure. is a spectrum. But, um, and gender. But being blind is a spectrum. And I grew up next to blind neighbors. And uh, and my stepdad. They could sing. Was <laughs> well, dude. We heard her fucking moan. We heard her getting. Stop. We heard her getting dug out by yeah. uh, by another blind dude. And my brother thought she was getting murdered. How she sounded, <laughs> no. and like we all gather in the room that's closest because she was like, Ooh, "That's probably the sound that I was doing." Dude, was was a blind lady dude. getting fucked? And, and are you sure she was blind and not uh, deaf? No, she was. Oh, I knew she was blind. Because if she was blind, it's not there. It doesn't change the voice being blind. No shit. I'm just saying she was getting fucking railed out, hitting a pitch. <laughs> Woo! She was, dude. She was getting. She wrecked. saw color. She saw colors. <laughs> well, she kind of could see. Oh. And my uh, my uh, old stepdad mooned her. She thought it would be funny. <laughs> and she and then we find out like she could see. She, she drew him. She, she just can't draw. She's see. blind enough where she can't drive, but she can. She, she can, can see, see assholes. She can see assholes. And the body part. Yeah. No. The doctor's <laughs> like, I'm sorry you're blind, but if you get revved up enough, <laughs> you can charcoal dry. Oh. <laughs> Orgasms will let you see for just a little bit. <laughs> Do you think it would be bad? Have you seen those um, those people? There's a There was a lady who it's a medical condition where she has orgasms. Like she has like a thousand orgasms a day. That's a... That's a no, dude. Oh, there women were, having an orgasm? Yeah, I've heard I of one that. having them. I saw, I saw, I read an article, and by that I mean I watched a YouTube video mm-hmm. about a woman who has orgasms multiple a day, and everyone's like, that sounds great, but she's like, it's horrible. I can't even live my life. Do you think that that would be fun? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Can I have one of those, Raymond? Yeah, yeah, you could have one. Do you need another uh, High Noon? Yeah, I'll take another one. Sponsored by High yeah. Noon here. Sponsored by I mean, High so Noon. we're talking about. Oh, yeah, have the passion fruit. Get me a better one. Climax. I'll take. I'll take that. Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's involuntary though. She never. Yeah, knows when involuntary. That, she never knows. She never knows when that. Nuts get, fire can I have off. the mango? Jesus, come on, Christ. dude. Dude, I, I mean, uh, listen. Sure, me rolling around with Paul Dagliolo and and rubbing on him while he's sleeping. I see how that could be construed as as you know. As but gay. you were rubbing but a tattoo of a woman on his back. No, what I'm Straight. saying. What I'm saying is gayer is is you being like. Ooh, I don't want that flavor high noon. <laughs> the fuck? Just drink it, dude. Oh, sorry, dude, that I like a little fucking joy in my life, and I'm going to have, you know, a couple, and I, I don't want to waste the calories on something I don't like. That's all. Mm. Oh, shut up. Okay. I did get, I had a bit of a weekend this weekend, and then we'll, you know, get into, I want to hear some uh, leads into some stories. Are you a wedding guy? Big wedding guy? I just came from one. Did you? Yeah, Puerto Rico. Oh, how Puerto, was it? Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Mm-hmm. Good don't even, friends in Puerto Rico. Don't even try to speak Spanish. <laughs> really? yeah, yeah, they're just like, nah. Blonde hair, blue eyes. That you have hundred percent doesn't speak mm-hmm. Spanish face. Yeah. You, you have you have the uh, face of like you meet Spanish speakers and you go, Hola Pequeño. Mm-mm. You do that English Spanish, like my uncle, when yeah. he talks to his workers, <laughs> and he goes, uh, that pile there, grande, it needs to be pequeño. I go, that's not Spanish, dude. <laughs> that's, what are you doing? Well, they're making an effort. My friend Carlos, it's, whose wedding it was, he just kept, he kept calling me the conquistador the whole time. He said, please don't take this land. <laughs> please don't, do this. Please please don't do this. We, we worked, just want to have our wedding. <laughs> we worked really hard for it. <laughs> please. Was it, what do you think about a, a, a destination wedding Puff like that? They're not ideal. Not ideal. I have strong opinions. Not on ideal. Um, so I think there's two There's two parts. Mm-hmm. Okay. Depending how far it goes, right? If they actually no, get married. No gift. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, I agree. Whoa. That's You're, a... You are the gift. That's... 
hotel. You you can't make somebody pay two fucking grand to go to your wedding. All and, of that. And be like, why didn't I get a blender? That's a lot. It's a lot. You got to give a gift. It's a lot. No. You got to give a gift. It was my girlfriend's friend, so she gave the gift. But I'm just saying, <laughs> uh, depending on how far you have to go, if you live in Pennsylvania and you have to go to like Indiana, I was like, you got to do a gift. Bring a yeah. gift. You got to do a gift. Put it in the car. If you, you got to cross international borders, yeah. no if gift. If it's in is Hawaii, what you're no gift. Wow. Well, I didn't know you were Samoan. Yeah. Hawaii. Uh, that's a, <laughs> I listen, I am against the destination wedding okay. unless it's someone I'm very close to. And then I'm like, yeah, let's do it. But if it's someone like a fringe, then you don't go. You don't go. That's the point. They don't want you there. That's also, that's the, that's also the point for a destination wedding. The destination. Yeah, they so, do not want you there. They're trying to weed you out. Exactly. So it is. Yeah. That's it's, fair. It's, it makes sense because you it get does. to cut down on the guest list because the people who are not going to show anyway mm, are not going to come. That's nice. I'm going to have my wedding in Niagara Falls, like Jim and Pam. Oh, that's cool. You're going to come? Am I invited? Is this an official invite? Yeah, yeah dude. You guys are going to both be invited to my okay. wedding. I'm in. Once I, you know, find a bride and, you know, all that goes according to plan. But, you know. Yeah, all right. Well, I'll be fucking dead. I'm on a couple yeah. mailing lists. And... uh you have to bring a gift. Uh, Russia is exporting right now, so... I love, that, I love that you think that you have any fucking input into a wedding. Like you got to, you got to let the, you got to let the lady have at least like sixty five percent. You know what, Ray? Out. That's where you're wrong. I think it's important for the man to have a little bit of contribution. You got to be present. You got to be there, excited. You know about Dylan's planning this wedding. I don't think that that's an alpha move. It's an alpha move. Yeah, you got to be excited, dude. You can't. No, yeah, I, I think def- that's I'm mistake. definitely excited. I think that's and a I- mistake that men make where they go, "Hey, my my lady's gonna take care of it all." No, but I'm, I'm just, just handling the the, the brat comes down pod. the aisle with a leash on. But I mean, hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. The dad has to kiss your feet. Whoa. Like this. Then and then you have to and then you take the mom that, in front of yeah, the dad. Yeah, no, no. Then you take the dad for a walk. You bend him over. No. Oh. You make him. You make him take a number two. We're just we're just walking all is these it, dogs. Yeah. Is it, is this the this is the uh, the office when that when he's like yeah, it's a bunch of furries. I'm marrying things. furries. Yeah, oh, you're marrying furries. Furries. in the in this scenario. Sometimes I in just start saying something, and I hope I <laughs> find yeah. eventually yeah. where I'm yeah. gonna be in a place at the end. Yeah. Um. Uh, so a good wedding, great wedding. I just had a good wedding people. this weekend, uh, and it's the drunkest I've gotten at a wedding. Okay. I usually don't get drunk at weddings because I eat so much, dude. You know what was good about well, this? Well, wait, follow up. Yes. Though. Yeah. What did you What did you drink at the wedding? Mm. Did you have a drink? Did you have a wedding drink? Mojito. Oh, you did mojitos yeah. all night. No, Smart. I, oh, no, you know me. I drink whatever. I know. I switch it like whatever crazy. Handed. You flip tequila, flip. mojito, red wine. That's bad news bears for your next day. Yeah. What else did I do? Uh, vodka soda. Mm. Makers. Wow. What about you? Me, uh, I started the day uh, yeah. without any food. It was a three o'clock wedding. I, I came, I was like, I'm not going to eat because it's going to be a wedding. There's going to be tons of food. And I started the day with champagne. I had two okay. glasses of champagne. Then I had about seven makers on the rocks. And then I had wine mm-hmm. and then more makers. And it's the drunkest I've ever been at a wedding. Yeah. I, I think we- wedding drunk is a different drunk. Can mm. we agree on that? Yeah. Mm. Because you're moving around a lot. You're grooving. I was dancing, you're dude. Socializing. I always go vodka sodas. I got to stay light. I got to stay easy breezy. And I feel like I could drink 200 of them at a wedding yeah. without blacking out. Mm-hmm. I didn't black out, but I did wake up in my bed uh, at the hotel with a, uh, a hot pocket that had one bite taken out of it on my chest. And uh, at like 5 a.m. That's tough. And I finished the Hot Pocket at 5 a.m. Oh, did you really? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you had to. I I was like still a little hungover and I was like starving and I ate the Hot Pocket nine hours later. It was cold, but well, it was delicious. Well, Gully, Gully's the type of guy that when he gets shit-faced and wakes up with a hangover, he fucking goes outside and wrestles a kettlebell for <laughs> fucking 40 We got to get to the gym. <laughs> sweat this out. He fucking, he did that. Got to find the other side of that. Yeah. Yeah. I got a that. late checkout. I was watching TV until 1230. No. And then drove to my parents' house and laid on their couch. Demons out. For did you do, seven did you, hours. Did you do that when we, we, we went to Columbus a couple of years ago and mm-hmm. we got wrecked after that show? Mm-hmm. 
And then did you did you end up working out the next day? Oh, morning? yeah. You yeah. made it. Mm. Piece of shit. I can't do that, dude. That's so brutal, <laughs> man. I work barely, out after boozing. Yeah. I barely made it to the next gig. Next morning. Then. What's that? <laughs> we went to since we had to go to Cincinnati the next day. I was useless. I used to drunk work out at college. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I, we did that <laughs> one Thinking back time. on that, just being like, why am I... Why am I bench pressing while I, cause we used to do Friday after class, yeah. you know, like that, that was, it was called FAC at Iowa. And I'm just like, all right, there's this break between now and then the evening drinking. And then I was like thinking back on it. I'm like, why am I at the, and I just forced people to go to the gym with me. <laughs> so it wasn't just me. Oh. They're like, you're a psychopath. I was like, I know. I did that once in college. We drank freshman year. It's the only time I drank. Uh, before ever in my life, mm. uh, before a, a practice, yeah. and we were in our dorm room, shot uh, funneling, funneling Bud Lights, and then we went to practice. It was supposed to be a walkthrough, but it was not a walkthrough, dude. We were inside. We were like running laps. It was horrible, horrible. What, what do you th- What do you think your boozing superpower is? Because uh, like, if I had to pick my, I I can. I could chug beer. I don't know. I don't know if GERD has has uh, mm. limited some of my no, powers, but I was a like I could chug beer faster than fucking anybody. Mm. I was like two seconds for a pint. I'm pretty quick with the chug. Um, I would say my personality gets way better. That's true. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. I get way quicker for some reason. And Adam just doesn't change. Seem drunk ever. <laughs> ever. Say, I'm Wolverine. Adam, Recovery. Adam can talk to the police. Oh at yeah. Anytime. Oh no. I. Become them. Just Hello, torched. officer. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, I'd say recovery. And then, yeah, I can also, too, it's, like, it's I can just sort of be fine. I wish. So, like, I can hold it together. You know what? I but can, I do get baby drunk eyes. I can I until lids. I can't. Yeah. I can until I can't. A switch yeah. goes off. Yeah. Yes, dude. And it's like, like people have told you, you called me the statue. Mm. You said, I'll get so drunk that yeah. I. Yeah, you, you you go into carbonite. Well, that's like what, I, you, you're just like, and I'm just like, oh no. Well, we He's, we were out for my birthday a couple of years ago, and yeah. uh, and you were saying like, I have Igor Martinez telling me this like uh, he came to the party and and he was telling me this like the day later. He was like, funniest thing is, uh, I I go to Adam. I'm like, hey, Ray doesn't seem that drunk yet. And then Adam was like, ah, he'll be statue mode in eh, about 30 minutes. And then Igor's like, what the fuck statue mode? And he's like, just wait. And then I, I guess like literally like almost like on cue, I was just I was just standing next to the bar like this. <laughs> and just didn't say a word until somebody took me home. <laughs> you gotta walk. And then he went, Wah. and then he started rubbing Paul. And we're like, he's back. Uh, he's back. <laughs> he's in whale mode now. Yeah. He's bellowing he's again. He's in sonar mode. He's bellowing. Ah. Uh. Oh, no, but hold on. Sorry, I was uh, sort of crashing a little bit at the wedding just because it was a long one. It was in the sun. Mm. Yeah. We were all wearing, oh, my, everybody was dressed to the nines. I was going to say, what you wear? Each, oh, my God. Each wedding? So, so it was, uh, no, it was downtown uh, Old San Juan. Juan. And With the Rico. And everyone just is <laughs> suited and booted, right? But we're all wearing wool. Okay. Oh. <laughs> one guy shows up. Actually, two guys show up late. The bus was supposed yeah. to come there, and we were on a shuttle bus to get over there. We're holding up the wedding because these people getting stuck in sure. San Juan. Yeah, <laughs> I, I did. I didn't know that there was a rush hour in San Juan. Right? <laughs> it was. It was like Saturday. I was just like, "What's going on?" They're like, uh, "You know, they're selling you know chicharron." So okay, chicharron. Uh, yeah, yeah. Chicharron. So we yeah, we get there, and yeah. there's I like it. you know like when you're at the movie theater, right? And then so they had the 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 perfect amount of seats mm. right mm-hmm. yeah but they had no ushers that were putting people at like you got to scoot ah, in because yes, people are going to yes. be coming in mm. so there was like one or two and then you know like gaps and gaps. things. yeah so the 20 of us who were back you know just showing up we had to stand uh, the entire wedding dude, you were late to the wedding we were late that is so upset we were late but it was not our fault i was the mm. first i was the first one there i was ready mm. i was on time okay and so i'm wearing wool <sighs> and I'm Swedish and I'm just getting direct Puerto Rican sunlight yeah. beating, beating down on me. And I just have, you know, cheap beer that I've drank on the bus. Did you have sunscreen? No. Oh, you, you don't look burnt. No, I know. I don't know how I survived, but mm. uh, it's pretty burnt here. But, uh, it w- so I'm just sweating, you know, I have no sunglasses, right? They're like, oh, it's, you know, it's, it's like, what are you crazy? Yeah. No one told me it was outside. Oh, dude. You messed Everyone up. didn't tell me it was outside. I was like, sunglasses. oh, we're going to this nice church. And that's Daytime? where I was like, okay, outside the church. 
mm. in the quarter square. So, and because we were late, if we were not late, because we were delayed about 15, 20 minutes, the sun would have been overhead. We had to look directly into the sun. Ah. Outdoor weddings? Nah. Nah. I do. Unless it's in like the fall or the spring, an outdoor summer wedding, there better be AC in a tent. It was, it was, That's yeah. what I'm saying. So we're all, yeah. And then after that, they had a little like a parade route back to the mm. location for that. And so it was like, you know, it was fun. They wore like the like Muppet hats, basically like that. And like, <laughs> it was like, it was like a New Orleans. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what That's custom fun. it is, but I was like, <laughs> uh, yeah, I was just like, okay, all right. I just, you know, I have to pee. Long, uh, uh, New Orleans funeral. Yeah. You know, That'd it was be like, nice. go there. You know, you kind of wind down your little sunburn, you know. Yeah. yeah. Then all of a sudden, they're playing like Bad Bunny. <laughs> Get ready. Oh. Off the hook. Did you see my story? Peso no. Pluma. There were people on stilts, like, you know, like. Uh, like a Missy Elliott video? No, no, there was a robot girl handing out shots. <laughs> robot. Robot girl. And, <laughs> and the bride and groom were like, we paid a lot for the robots. <laughs> Make sure, make, make sure, sh- make sure you're there for the robots. Make sure we, we get all the of the use out of the robots. We paid a lot for the robots. Well, were they really? actual like? Were they like looked good? I'm oh, just looks picturing. Fantastic. I'm picturing like oh, no. uh, like uh, cardboard uh, painted silver. Oh, no. Like no, they look like Daft Punk. I'm a robot. Like Daft- <laughs> no, they're like Daft Punk on stilts. On stilts. Wow. Leading the dance. Were they Were they killing it? Killing it. Uh, Strobe lights go, and then the shot lady going around. Robot shot lady. And just like, just shoves them in your, and was like, okay. And then wow. we're back. Mm. And then I'm wearing, I just find that myself wearing bunny ears. Uh, I did see uh, the picture. Yeah. I saw a picture of you, bunny ears, yeah. sunglasses. How was just, the food? It was great. Good. Yeah. Was it like Puerto Rican food or what, what is a Puerto Rican like? In no, it was, sta- it was steak and fish. Steak and fish. And steak and fish? But, but, but it was, yeah. What were uh, the apps? What was the cocktail hour like? Nice. Nice. Ceviche. Like, ooh, yeah. Okay. What's that? Ceviche. Raw bar. Dude, I had I had about fifteen bacon wrapped scallops this weekend. No, not yeah. you. <laughs> Dude, Couldn't be. I was standing. This Couldn't this be. place was beautiful. The wedding was awesome, and I. Uh, but like the area where the cocktail hour was, it was um, smaller than like when we actually went in. Yeah. So there wasn't a lot of room to navigate. You kind of had to find your place, and then you kind of stayed in that place. Mm. You know. So. I found this place, me and this dude. You know, you can just become friends with someone when you, you share a common interest. Me and this guy had nothing in common. He's like 25 years older than me. And we both posted up, right? We found like the door where they brought the food out, which not a great move, but yeah. we just happened to be there. And I was like, oh, this is where. And he goes, yeah, we got to stand here the whole time. And I go, okay. So the, they just bring the food out. And they'd be like, food? Food and I was like, you know, what? I will try. I haven't had a bacon wrap. I'll try it. I'll oh, try then it. then you two become brothers for the night, for the dude. Night. We where were you keep seeing each other. You're like the guy who hangs out the luggage carousel, and you're like yeah. right at the <laughs> mouth, dude. We right were, like, I got my everything bag. hot. Mine. I, awesome. I hate that guy. Mine. And you're just checking every tag. <laughs> That's you. With it was great. I did sit next to a dude I didn't know, um, who bacon introduced himself scallops. to me, and he goes. Uh, I'm I'm good buddies with the groom, and he goes, "Oh yeah, you know I'm friends with him, but like, uh, it's a little complicated how we know each other." And I was like, "He's like, we don't really hang out that much, but like when we do, we hang out for like you know an hour, two hours." And I'm like, oh, "Okay, like, how do you guys know each other?" He's like, "Well, we share a lot of common interests." So I start naming. I'm like, "What? Like hunting? Like uh, it's his like therapist?" This. And he goes, "Well, like, um, like I I sell him marijuana," <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, you're a drug dealer?" And he goes. I guess if you want to call it that, and I was like, <laughs> I, th- I, yeah, thought was, I thought it was going to be his therapist. No. We hang out for like an hour, an hour, hour once a week. Yeah. Have you, I, don't, I don't, I don't leave him. Have you ever <laughs> I just seen, have annoying conversation? Have you ever seen any big time drama at a wedding? Mm. Yeah, I used to work weddings. Oh no! Oh, shit. Did yeah, you? yeah, yeah, for oh. about six months in Columbus. What did you? Say? Yeah. Uh, somewhere on oh one. <laughs> so this was right before the wedding. The, so the, the, the groom did not have a bachelor party. It's not, it's not going to be what you think, right? Mm, yeah. So the groom did not have a bachelor party and the bride was like a bridezilla, right? Yeah. So the boys were just like, all right, we're going to do a little something, you know, right before the Morning wedding of the wedding. Morning of the wedding. Bad idea. Morning of the wedding. <laughs> but he was kind of a square guy. They just go, it was on a, it was in a, um, it was in a golf course, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> The guy, one of his friends draws back, smacks the shit 
out of his fa- out of the groom's face, breaks his nose, blood everywhere. Oh my god! Blood <laughs> everywhere. Just has to run him off to the ER. Holy bride shit. Bride is like, you know, I'm setting up and just bride crying, mother-in-law <laughs> crying. Why'd he smack him? The the groom got too close when the friend was was drawn back the club. Uh, smacked him right in the face. Oh my god, dude. Holy god. shit. Did the Blood wedding go off? everywhere? Did it go off as planned? What happened? Black and blue. Gauze in the nose. <laughs> Stop it. Blue. <laughs> Didn't drink, didn't have it like he just had he just had like a medicated Wait, is wedding. It, is this a Ben Stiller movie in two thousand? It seems like it is. It seems like it's a concussion. Just, just again, just being like, oh, they're just gonna like uh, you know, the boys are gonna go like they weren't even like drinking. I am like, <laughs> sure I'm well, I'm sure maybe the uh, the groomsmen were, but I, yeah. The, but yeah, like I said, the, the groom was kind of just like a square. And so it was like eight o'clock, nine o'clock mm. in the morning and just draw back, smack. Oh, dude. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. His wife had to be furious, yeah. George. Those pictures yeah. forever. Sauce. Oh, we had some real Mountain Dew people, you know, have some weddings, you know. <laughs> oh, my at, uh, are you yeah. talking about my people? It's actually my people, too. But it's, <laughs> I, was, I was like, yeah, wait, there was a bunch of Tanyas at this wedding, you oh, know. Dude. And uh, there was a Mountain Dew guy at this yeah. wedding. Yeah, oh, we had uh, Carhartt khakis and a button down and a hat, a baseball cap the whole time. He's, probably, he's balding, so let him. Oh, yeah. dude. Yeah. You know, you wear let a fedora. You wear a fedora <laughs> or you wear a cowboy hat. Those are the only acceptable <laughs> Dude, real quick, before, before, before wedding hats. Before you go on, Adam, one of the funniest things ever is is like maybe the first time that me and you hung out, we were at this bar on Ditmore's Rivercrest. You've been to Rivercrest. Yeah. And and we're, uh, we're drinking and I find a hat on the bar. And I put the hat on and I start talking like a cowboy for like an hour. And I keep doing a cowboy thing. And, uh, and uh, after a minute... Uh, some somebody uh, like after a little while, somebody comes in that that we knew, and Adam starts talking. And they're like, "Oh, hey, what's going on? How are things here?" You're like, "Ah, beer's good. We, we just got we just got an appetizer. Fucking uh, raise a wad, and he's been wearing a fedora, thinking it's a cowboy hat for like 20 <laughs> minutes." And I'm just sitting there like, "Hi there, how are you doing?" And it was like dark or something, and I didn't. And then I was like, "Oh, yeah." <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna let this play out because oh, he, has, so he has no funny. idea what a ten gallon hat looks like. I still have that fedora. I do. Oh, yeah, it's hilarious, Dad. It's your personality. Can't get rid of it. <laughs> I love that. Oh, um, uh, but getting back to the Mountain Dew people. Mountain Dew peeps. Yeah, uh, somebody was married at the wedding, and well, not the ma- but but was cheating on their significant other in the hallway outside the bathroom. They were wow. Yeah, and we had to kick them out. For Jesus. cheating, you're not allowed to cheat at weddings anymore. No, they're just bad. <laughs> right, right, right. They're yeah. like a golf club. No, you're not allowed hey, to have fun at weddings be like, anymore. Be like, hey, Tanya. Yeah. <laughs> Take the, it into the bathroom. The, yeah. the cheating was Come just on. an additional fact yeah. to the public yeah. sex. Yeah. I think. Yeah, that was just yeah, an addition. Yeah, that was yeah. The, okay. Yeah. It's like private. I, guys Privately can't make out at a wedding anymore. I Come on. I know. There was a. That's uh, got to be the worst time to get cheated on oh, at a yeah. wedding. Yeah. When you're there, your family. Friends, they knew. Yikes! The they knew. They're like that. That's that's in her heart. <laughs> that's Ray <laughs> or Chris. the the first The first wedding that I ever went to, my two uncles fist fought, and my uh, th- they weren't brothers. It was like uh, fighting the um, the rival uncle. So it was it was it like was two brother in laws. My mom's brother fought my mom's sister's husband, <laughs> and my mom's sister's husband was was kind of kicking his ass mm. and then my aunt tina jumped on his back i love and, her already and it was like uh wait his wife or his no just a sister-in-law a sister. it was it was, wow. it was his sister so Damn. it was just a whole ordeal and i remember like just me and a bunch of other like seven-year-old cousins like the fuck is that <laughs> this is great <laughs> could you ever look at that other uncle the same way like you just got your ass kicked. no no he was he was a he's He's a wayward soul. He, uh, yeah, he's 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 had it hard. I wasn't surprised. He was uh, uh, he was he very take a little, punch. and uh, oh, he could take a punch, but mm, just couldn't, couldn't throw one. Give one back. He's and, a little guy and full of mm. booze and drugs. And uh, he actually he got kicked out of my grandmother's funeral for uh, giving her a, a nogi. <laughs> Dude, stop! 
I always think you grew up like normal, and then you tell me. <laughs> Wait, can you? <laughs> I always what forget. What do you that. mean, dude? He gave, he her, gave her, a- her a noogie in the coffin. Yeah, <laughs> he was fucking with her hair. I mean, I mean, this is this is this is a guy. He has he has a problem, but he's fucking with her hair. And then and then my my aunt was like, "Hey, don't touch her hair." Um, you know, you know how she was always particular about her hair. It's gonna and, be like that forever. And I was like, not how she was always particular about her hair. She's She's a corpse, man. Settle down. And then he, and then to like, to like be a dick, he was like, mm-hmm. and then, and then, and then my, my other uncle threatened to kick his ass and then he, he left. Wow, dude. He also, this same uncle got arrested at my sister's college graduation party. They like threw him up against our garage and arrested him. And my sister was all like embarrassed because her college friends were there. And me and my brother were like thinking about how we could get credit for a citizen's arrest. <laughs> you just need to lose the invitation for this guy. <laughs> you know, was he still alive? I, I think so. Uh, he pulled up. Or invite him to everything. I don't yeah. know. I, I don't know which one That's to do. I mean. That's what <laughs> I was like. Him. Uh, invite him to everything. Some of these weddings I go to, I kind of want to invite this uncle. He pulled yeah. up to my sister's graduation party because it was, it was at our house. We had mm-hmm. it like in the yard and stuff. And he drives up, smashes into the telephone pole that is like right outside of our house, but gets out like nothing just happened. <laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? Throws the keys. Yeah. <laughs> Over his shoulder. <laughs> he, he, he threw him at me. <laughs> he was like, he was like, he was like around back. don't scratch it. <laughs> Dude, I forgot all about that. <laughs> oh, that's Man, good. That's crazy. Throw my beer. What's his name? Yeah. I don't want to put him on. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah Uncle Ray, Jimmy. Ray, soon, Ray Senior. Uncle Jimmy. Uncle Jimmy. Yeah. Uncle that, Jimmy. Uh, you know what? That sounds like an Uncle Jimmy. Poor guy, though. I mean, he's, he's, he's had a hard life. So. Yeah, yeah nice, break. dude. Way to bring it back break. down to yeah, uh, hard, well, I'm, well, hard I'm, life being a legend. Well, we're, not, we're not talking shit about him. You are. Well, I'm just. I'm just I'm, hey, here's the funniest stories of all time. But, you know, he's He's let's had a hard time. Let's pray for him. Well, I'm just saying, hey, just why is he having such a hard time? Hey, at the end of the day, cause he's still family. All right. Hey, I can make fun of him. You can't. So you won't believe when I was throwing up. So anyway, drinking's a big problem in a lot of people's families, and I don't think we should do that. That's the thing. That's the big (laughs) takeaway. Ray just tells hilarious stories, and then he gives a PSA after everything. What you know what is is because because I tell these stories, and I know that certain people listen to this podcast, and (laughs) children, certain children to listen to this. No, not children, but uh, certain people that were children when uh, when that was all happening. You know, I got cousins, I got family that listens to the Mm -hmm. podcast, and I at least want them to know that I am trying to profit off of these stories. but I still feel bad about it. You feel bad about it. Yeah. So that's your asterisk after everything. So you know? there, yeah. okay. I don't really, I don't really give a shit. I don't fuck. I barely know the guy. I mean, I've been around him my whole life, but he was not the easiest guy to talk to or build a relationship with. Okay, keep going there, further. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> dude. Whatever. Dude. Why was it so difficult? Whatever, bro. I have GERD. I'm fucking overweight. I'm losing my hair. My dad's had dead. five drinks already. Uh, he was he slammed about three high noons before he even got here. Oh yeah, no, he was like, I was fucking, damn it, gully, gully's late." I was free basing in Dylan's bathroom. <laughs> you can be statue real quick. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're on top of you. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> anyway, so, so anyway, so weddings are fun. What's your favorite wedding song? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's your favorite wedding song? <laughs> oh, dude, I have. Do a you wedding. remember? No, I don't even. That's I a good one. That is a good one. I don't even know. I don't even have a bride. To be, but I already know what I want my first dance wedding song to be. What? I forget the name, but it's oh, uh, that's good. It's a good one. It's from the movie. I'm just a teenage dirtbag baby. Such a good song. That song stinks. That would be hilarious if that was our first dance wedding song. What's your first dance sense. wedding song going to be, Adam? I don't know. I'm not a girl. <laughs> hey, dude, you guys got to get involved, man. You got to get involved with you ladies. <laughs> I know, I know what mine's gonna be. It's like a romantic comedy, you what know? Huh? What? I'm not gonna tell you guys because you make fun of me. Ride the lightning by. I don't uh, hear. It. What's ride the lightning? I don't know. Megadeth. Um, I, I think it would it would be something more uh, more classy, more old school. I can't remember. Evanescence. I can't remember who's. <laughs> wake me up, wake me up inside. Natalie's gonna sing. She it. would love that. Me and she Natalie would. are gonna duet. No, you know what I would see you doing like. New York, New York by Frank Sinatra. Me, me, and me and Natalie are both like hams. 
Yeah. Oh no, it'll be Broadway. So our, it will be Broadway. So I our, dream, our and I will take my bathroom break during die. your first dance. <laughs> our, I will take my bathroom Dude, break. You mean our you mean our first number? Your first number. Yeah, our wedding would our wedding's gonna be happening. You're assuming you're getting invited. That's that's true. No, but big assumption. It's true. But it's the song. Uh, what's I? I it's it's the it's the one that they played in Ten Things I Hate About You. But it's the you're just too good to be oh. true. Oh, that is such a ham song, dude. Yeah, and the, but there's gonna be multiple numbers there. A lot of people <laughs> singing. You guys can do sets if you want. I mean, it's gonna be a whole variety show. That's what. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, just me at my own wedding, running around with like one of those headsets on, like like uh, like. Uh, okay, we're gonna give Gully the light now. He has two more minutes left. One, Dancers two, are ready three, in the back. Four. Ready. Three, four, five. Put him out. Ray's gonna do a Sweeney Todd number. <laughs> <laughs> You just keep the costumes from this year. Yeah. You yeah. Break he's, them out. He's going to butcher meat to show the meal that we're all going to be served later on. Oh, Natalie, I don't know how I'm going to get through this. They butchered my introduction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to have to pay, I'm going to have to pay for six tuxedos for all my children. This wedding, this wedding is ruined. Why? Because there's a fiddler. On the roof. <laughs> <laughs> if I was a rich man. <laughs> the re- I just have a picture someone running in. The wedding is ruined. And then another person <laughs> playing to the audience goes, what's happening? <laughs> and we just all. <laughs> the Nazis are coming. <laughs> Sound of music breaks out. Uh, I'd like everybody to raise a glass and do a shot because we are not throwing away our shot. (laughs) Is everyone okay? Oklahoma. (laughs) (laughs) You're like, how was how was Ray's Ray's wedding? Fucking exhausting. It's gonna be so exhausting. Like, have you ever been to that? uh, Have you ever been to that that bar where they just sing show tunes in Greenwich? Sounds. Ever been to that one? Sounds I've like never been, but, but it's just a bunch of admin assistants like just singing grand. out their theater dreams. Is it like that, something grand? Yeah. 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 It's going to be like that. I've heard of it. It's just going to be a bunch of. Go ahead. Is there a Janie present? Go Janie? Ahead. Janie's got a gun. There's a. Uh, what? Never mind. Didn't like <laughs> Is that. Is that even a musical? I don't know. <laughs> Janie's got a gun. You ran out of music. It's a song, hey, dude. Janie's got a guns an Aerosmith song. You sure. fucking dipshit. <laughs> yeah, it's a song, dude. Uh, Janie, Janie, your car uh, has its lights on. Ja- Janie's uh, got a. Everyone knows gun. that Broadway tune. House bells. <laughs> <laughs> Ride the tiger. <laughs> Oh, oh man, man. Don't like I'm out. I only know yeah, I'm out. I, only know I, I know two, two musicals. Two. Les Mis, which I've already and My Sound of Music. Yeah. I'm I'm the male Susan Boyle. Whatever, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm multi talented. I'm sorry I'm, that I'm you know not. what it is? Ray's trying to get more ladies to listen to the pod. I'm sorry. So we're bringing Broadway into it. I'm trying to get some broads in with some Broadway. That's that's been my, that's Bring been in. my campaign for the year. So that's why that's we for the new slogan. year you're gonna be like we're gonna like call her daddy. Yeah. Bro- broads Broadway. for Broadway. Yeah, that's a good slogan, dude. Broads for Broadway. If there's ever like some type of like strike or something, Broads for Broadway is a great sign. Thank you. I think so. You should write it. Get it stashed away. <laughs> talk to uh, talk to one of our friends in Brooklyn. I'm sure they got poster boards and markers all ready to go. Called rival uncles. They weren't r- actually. They were rival. That's going to be. They keep for a while. fighting. That's, That's going to be the episode title. Yeah. I'll tell you that. He got pissed again because uh, one of those uncle's dogs Sorry, bit family. the other's kid <laughs> right on the face. God. The whole thing was a lawsuit, I think. Not a lawsuit, but a, uh, there's some money passed. Street justice. It started so funny and then got real dark. Yeah. Well, I mean, hey, I'm, I'm sorry that not everything's this fucking, this fucking cookie cutter white picket fence. You know, dude, my I'm uncle's so, dog hey. bit my, uh, yeah. bit my other uncle's kid. My parents funny. are still together. Yeah. On the face. Mm-hmm. Well, my it was par- a lawsuit. <laughs> Divided the family, really. <laughs> we still talk about it to this day. Yeah, no one you, speaks. Look at you with your married, loving parents. Yeah. Both yeah, of you. Mm-hmm. And then you <sighs> fucking they encouraged me. Yeah, a lot. Maybe too much encouragement. You think so? Eh, maybe a little bit. No, just the right amount. Just the right amount. <laughs> Adam might have gotten just the right amount. Me and Dylan yeah. might have gotten too much encouragement <laughs> from our families. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing you can't do. <laughs> yeah. I got what did your mom old. sing? Do you well, well, that was my mom. My mom was like, "Oh, you could do anything you put your mind to. There's nothing that you can't do." And then I um, 
just didn't get a response from my dad. So it was like perfect. <laughs> you <laughs> you know, know what I mean? It was the happy medium. Yeah, I had no other end Too of much. that. It was just enough. Actually, that's kind of nice. Yeah. This this is this is crazy. kind of nice. This is a problem with my mom is is she is like like she like like when I when I got to college, I remember at one time I'm talking to her on the phone and I'm stressing about a about a paper that I didn't turn in. I'm like, I'm gonna be screwed. She's like, well, all right, do do you want me to call uh, your professor and tell them that it was uh, it was my fault? This and was that, college. Yes, and that and that I left and that you left it on the on the counter. Just blame it on me. And I was like, Ma, it doesn't work that way, right? It doesn't work that way. So okay, I've made fun of her about that. Just yesterday, I'm on the phone with my mom. And I'm talking about my taxes and how I'm pretty sure that I didn't file my tax return last year um, because, of an, issue with, because of an issue with my accountant, which uh, which is uh, it, we're going to figure Cut out this part. You know what? The no, issue, no, no. You know what the issue with the accountant was? Uh, his accountant's cat died and yeah. forgot to file everyone's taxes. We're going to figure this out, though. We're going to figure is this that, out. I don't know if that's a joke. No, that's not a bit. That's no, not a I'm bit. Not it sounds hilarious. But I told my mom, and, she, and my mom's like, well, why don't you just let them know that, like, you left your tax return at my house and somehow it got lost? And I'm like, Ma, this, what the fuck do you think this is? You know, I, there's, there's, no, there's no permission slips anymore, Mom. I'm 34. <laughs> at the trial, they're going to be. But she there. loves me. She loves me. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Your mom's a wonderful lady. You met my mom. I met your mom. Actually, Adam's one of the, one of the uh, rare New York friends that have met my late father. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Yeah. What was that like? His character. Mm. Yeah, we went to uh, we went to Permani Brothers Pittsburgh Staple. Oh, dude! Housed I mean, to go <laughs> to a Pittsburgh Staple <laughs> with a Pittsburgh Staple. What a win! He what? Like, how's that entire pizza? Yeah. Well, well that was you he know, was just that was in his phase where what? he was uh, where he lost a hundred pounds on keto. Mm -hmm. And then he realized that he could just eat whatever he wants as long as he weighs himself every single day. And if his weight fluctuates, he just jumps back on keto. Mm -hmm. So he was grubbing. Grubbing. Crazy he's dead. I don't know how yeah. that didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Anywho. Okay, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is that much of a bummer of no, an episode no. as you guys are trying to make it out to be. I don't think it's a bummer at all. Why dude. am I getting wrapped up in this? We got like seven minutes left. Do you have, any, do you have any stories you want to tell, dude? Drunkest you ever been? We covered this maybe. Have you ever been arrested? Drunk. No. No, of course not. Please. Dude. They look at me. They're like, you can go ahead. One of, one of, the, one of us. Yeah. You can't even fit handcuffs around those muscular wrists. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> no. Oh, man. They have me do a citizen's arrest on people. Yeah, come on. Hey, help. take these cuffs. Help out. Help. We I feel like get you going. have helped out in situations like that. I'd stick out an ankle. 9-11. Yeah. <laughs> I tripped somebody. <laughs> I he was there. there. I was there. He was in the plane. <laughs> you, you're, you're, not a, you're not an angry drunk, though. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. I'm a happy drunk. Happy drunk. I always have that. I don't know if you have this. I'm not going to ask you. Uh, Excuse me? Uh, when you're a taller guy. Sorry, that's... I knew that was between, coming. Between me, right? Dude. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, dude, large I'm... Individual. Let's have the conversation. Large, sorry, yeah, let's, let's... Dude, I'm 5'17". Hold, hold on. Let's, uh, oh, yeah. uh, let's go above the canopy. Uh, let's, uh... No. So, uh... Dude, I'm 5'10". What often happens what is, is average like, when you're man? in college or, you know, right in that area, you know, everybody's just sort of getting really sauced up and... Yeah. It would always be shorter guys who, mm. who finally would just get the, the courage... Yes. ...to... Like just ram into you, and but it's like it was so comical that I never knew that they were trying to pick a fight with me, you know, because I'm six foot four. Yeah, and so is that tall? Oh yeah, uh, no, I don't know, but uh, it's tall. who's counting? Uh, and then I, but I'm just like a big, big goof, and I'm like, hey, and I was just thought I knew them. I'm yeah. just like, hey, what's going on? And he was just like, and then someone would always just be like, sorry, man, he didn't mean it, and I'm just like, I'm <laughs> like, what are you? What are you talking? It's just literally like a Great Dane yeah. who just doesn't know. Just like no, like we're buddy. Like what's going? On? I'm just like uh, you know. It's just, you're like, I don't know which like which is more offensive. <laughs> which is more offensive? Like me even like swinging on the guy or like taking it seriously, or me just like being like, "There's no way this is a threat." <laughs> no, that's at, way at any cost. That right guy's now. going home thinking about his whole life. It, after that, I mean, I mean, this happened to me at a boat. Like, like people like yeah. want to like pick with a bigger guy because it's kind of a win-win. Yeah. What happens? You get your ass kicked by somebody yeah. way bigger than you. They were way bigger than me. Or you fucking take down a giant. Yeah. And like I prison rules. Goliath. Prison rules. I was at a bodega, um, right by my right by my old apartment, and I mm -hmm. went to Macaletta Pizza. I grabbed a pizza. It's like a fancy pizza place. Yeah. I was grabbing a pizza for um 
I, I had a date up at my apartment. So I was grabbing her pizza and then I went over to um, the bodega to grab something to drink. And I'm in there and I'm holding it. And this dude, like a little ass dude, he's drunk. He's like drinking in the bodega. He must have been friends with a guy that like ran the place. And he's like, he's like, yo, that fucking fancy ass pizza and shit. You ain't from around here. I was like, no, no, I'm not. I'm from Pittsburgh. And then like, I'm just looking at the thing and he's like, oh, that fancy pizza. I was like, yeah, I don't really like his pizza. This is for uh, this is for a, a date. And then he's like, all right, all right, all right. We fucking better get the fuck out of here. I was like, yeah, I'm going to when I pay. You know, like I, I like don't like. I'm like literally in the middle of like a date, you mm-hmm. know, and uh, and I start like uh, I like grab my I'm like, hey, can you get out of my way? Can you get out of my way? And there was a point where I was like, he's like right in front of me, like in front of the um, the, the cooler. And I'm like, maybe I'll just fucking take out some anger. See that anger and, come out, and dude? Just put him through. His uncle's coming through. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I didn't. He kind of leaves me alone for a second. He like walks over. and He's like bullshitting with the dude at the register. And then I, uh, I, I get the drinks and I'm walking. And he comes and tries putting a mean ass shoulder in me. And I wasn't even like that ready. And he bounced off of me <laughs> across, like, like went up onto the little, like the, um, the cooler that holds the ice cream. You know, those like ones that you slide. Yeah. They're kind of like almost like a table. Yeah. And he like lands on that. And he's like, Whoa. and I was like, you all right, man? I didn't mean to. <laughs> I didn't, pay for my shit I didn't like, mean nothing by it. Yeah. You okay, little guy? <laughs> It was like it was like God. It was like I play. fucking settle down. That's I didn't do anything. God, damn that was stuff. I did have. Um, sorry, get back to that before. I did have some bigger dudes that did try to start some. It was the Iowa football team. Before. Oh shit! Yeah, so I was walking with. It, it's so funny because it's a. So my two other friends that I was at the bar with, it was a bar called Summit. Everybody calls it Scummit because that's just how sick, dude. That was my first sort of like you know comedy chops right there. Uh-huh. Um, Writing bits Yeah And It would just be So down below Would just be like Your normal bar And then upstairs Would be Like a dance club Up there And It would just be You know Everybody And like a lot of the football players Would go up there too I was with I have two other short, Shorter friends Named Colin and Mike And uh, Mike is a, Just an angry Like shorter Italian guy He's probably about Five foot six You know and then the other guy is about five foot five. His name's Colin. And he was a former high school wrestler. Oh, and they're both. I know those dudes. They're, they're, they're both. Yeah, they're both about 150, you know, each, you know, yeah. soaking wet, right? Colin's walking through and he's got cauliflower here, right? And he's a he'll yeah, still. You don't mess with that. No, we're walking. He's wearing, he's just wearing a ball cap. And we're all actually, you know, we've only just had a couple beers and we were just like surveying and we're like, all right, we're going to get out of here. And we're like, this yeah. is not, you know, for us right now. All of a sudden, Colin is walking. Gets his cap just, you know, just knocked uh. right off the top of his head. And it's just, we just like look. And we're like, what the hell is that? And it's this former football player. His name is Adrian Claiborne. I don't know. He, so he used to play for, you know, the Haw- he was a defensive lineman for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Later played for Tampa Bay Bucks. Yeah. He was dating my ex-girlfriend from before from, oh, from nice. previous high school <laughs> but it was like that's a whole other stuff sloppy seconds yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. and so eskimo brothers no no that was later on that was not Hell at that yeah. time oh. but then i was just like oh, okay and so then we look and then he's with the wide receiver who's yoked and somebody else and mike you know the little italian guy and colin the wrestler they both are just like all right here we go. <laughs> <laughs> that's scary adrian Corbone's at my, my height he's about six foot four but he's probably about 290. Yeah. Right. I was, you know, and, and I was about probably 195, maybe 200 pounds at this time. Right. Yeah. Wow. He's 290. Colin's 150. Mike's about 150. They're both about 5'5, five, 5'6. Five, five, yeah. They're like a combined race yeah. of Wadney. There's other wide receivers about 6'1, 230. And there's another one, you know, rel- you know, a linebacker who's about 250. Yeah. And I'm just like, I'm like, I guess I got Adrian Claiborne who <laughs> plays for the Tampa Bay Bucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so then they just get in our face and both my buddies are just like, this is just what's going to happen. Like they were the ones being like, you knocked my hat off. That means we're going. Yeah. Oh. I was the biggest pussy of the group <laughs> and I was by far the biggest of the group. And I'm like, yeah. Cause I was like, they're going to match up with the linebacker and the wide receiver. I was like, I'm going with the guy who's going to be drafted second round by the Tampa <laughs> yeah. Bay Buccaneers. And I'm like, God. I'm like, yeah, come on, you know. So, so, like, so like, I have to use a voice I've You're never like, like used yeah, before. I'm, like, I'm a freshman, and you know, I'm just like, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> you oh motherfucker, kick your here, ass. Here we go. This is going to be all, all day, all night. Here we go. Oh. And it just actually like, happened. And, I'm just, and, and, and Bouncer stepped in and like some tables got overturned. And so I was like, so I just like shook a chair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, you feel that? You don't want any of that. Adrian. You know, I'm like, that's, yeah, that's, I just got I like, folded I, that I, chair. Yeah, I just had a really good like offensive line, Holy like back, shit. like one step. I'm just like, you don't want any of this. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm good. I'm Dude. good up there. And so just, yeah, luckily it like everybody just sort of crowded and just like a dispersed, but I was just like, Oh my, I was going to be in the hospital. God, I was going to be in the hospital, but it was, just, but it's like, what do you do? Just being like, no, nah, uh, you can't, you got your two friends who are like a foot shorter than you. Yeah. And you know, I got Dude, 60 wrestlers pounds, 60 are months, no joke. And they man, were going to yeah. throw down and they were probably going to bite ankles and, and ha have something happen. And then just like, to be honest, and I'm just staring Adrian Claiborne right in the eye. I'm putting money on the wrestlers too. Those no, oh, don't, don't. Yeah, absolutely, man. Nah. 150? Yeah, dude. It, just like no, a my, couple. My buddy Colin would have probably like climbed them and just. Yeah, he climed them, yeah. choke them out. Like, where'd he go? Get where'd he go? The and ground. then just like, there he is. Yeah, dude, there that's is. scary as fuck. Yeah. That's, dude, you do not want to mess with yeah. that. Don't mess with cauliflower. <laughs> don't mess with cauliflower. Mm -hmm. That might be the name of the episode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right, dude, you want to wrap it up? Let's do it. Adam, right. tell, these, tell these fucking people where they can find you. You can find me at Adam Gully on Instagram. A D A M G U L L four E's. E -E 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 -E. Just follow me there. Nice. Dates and other things, shows. Hell Find yeah. and see. Uh, make sure to give Adam a, a follow. He's fucking hilarious. Uh, give me a follow as well. I'm at Razor Wadney on uh, on Instagram. Uh, Razor Wadney on YouTube. And uh, I did mention earlier, uh, I'm recording an album March first. Uh, so if you're around, come out for that or subscribe to the YouTube for when that drops there. Um, and then you could catch me on Troublemakers Podcast YouTube and every single Wednesday, baby, with my boy Dylan Krasinski. Dylan. Ooh, at Dylan Krasinski on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok, and at Troublemakers on all of those sites. You can, uh, we post clips three, four, five, sometimes six times a week. Also, if you're listening to this today, this Saturday, I'm going to be at Governor's in Belmore with our good pal Ooh. Colin Chamberlain. If you're a Ooh. Long Island listener... Come on out, Governors Long in Island. Belmore, doing a long set. 20 minutes, baby. Bye. And we'll see you next week. Good night. Bye-bye.